Deja Vu. Duck legs featuring again on We'll See How We Go. I've got a freezer full of them. Now, these are gonna go down the same route as their predecessors. We're gonna get them in a bag with a little bit of duck fat, and we're gonna throw it into the bath and leave it there for 40 odd hours and create something really, really tender and delicious. But this time we're gonna take it a step further. We're gonna use the juices in the bag and they're gonna be coupled with a tinge of ginge and a little bit of garlic. And all those flavors are gonna get worked into that duck, but they're also gonna get worked into the juices. Gonna use the juices, a little bit of soy sauce and a big hunk of metal outside, which is today's sponsor. The razor griddle that I've got, big four burner. And I'm gonna use that to use the juices and this big five kilo bag of rice here to make a ripping fried rice and a confit duck on top. And that should be damn tasty. Got a long road ahead though, so time to get cracking. I often get asked, how much garlic is the right amount of garlic? Well, the correct answer to that question is the amount of garlic you're allowed. Bag her up and then into the water it goes. 69 degrees Celsius, 40 hours, by which stage it should be meltingly tender. So that duck is pretty much done. Now it's just gonna sit there until it's ready and uh, we're gonna get the rice on. Now don't come at me over this, but the best way to cook rice is with a rice cooker. Now I know there's some people who'll be like, oh, you know, cook it in a pot, do all that sort of stuff. Traditional is a bit, no. This has got it sorted. It does it perfectly every damn time. So the duck's on the downhill and the rice is doing its thing. Now we've got some vegetables to sort out. I'm actually in uh, self-isolation at the moment. So these are the vegetables that I just randomly got in my delivery and it works out a little bit of all right. Got a couple of root veggies here. We've got some carrots and we've got the old uh, Miyazaki root, which is also called a daikon. Those are gonna get uh, peeled and they're gonna get chopped up and parboiled a little bit. And we've also got a cabbage, a pointed cabbage here. It's gonna get chopped up nice and fine. And that is going to go um, get wilted on the, on the griddle. We've got a little bit of sweet red pepper. That's gonna give us a nice sweet burst. We're just gonna chop that one up as well. Give it a bit of a dice. And then finally, we've got these uh, sprouted spring onions. I'm gonna chop up the bottoms, I'm gonna give those a caramelize and the top part's gonna be used for uh, serving up. We've also got a little bit of uh, egg here. I'm gonna crack a few eggs on, give it a mix up and mix it in. And it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. All right, so we've got a rolling boil on this water here. And we've got all of our carrots chopped into sort of like little batons and cubes on the daikon. We're gonna go give those about two minutes in the boiling water just to sort of initiate that cooking process. So you wanna make sure you give your rice a really good seasoning. I've used about um, 80 mils of rice wine vinegar here and about 20 odd mils of mirin. A little bit of sugar and a tiny bit of salt. Just a pinch of each. Get a load of all these bag juices. That is liquid, fatty, glorious gold. And that's gonna be the basis of our um, flavor profile. I'm gonna pour all of that with a bit of soy sauce over that rice and it's gonna be so good. So 
So basically, we're going to be using the surface area of the griddle. Uh, we're going to get all of our vegetables nice and caramelized, get a bit of char going. And then we're going to get our rice. And that rice is going to go on top and it's going to get crisped up. We're going to use just all the real estate we've got. And then finally, we're going to drizzle this all over top, get it nice, dark, rich, fatty duck flavors in there with a bit of ginger and a bit of garlic. And that is going to be absolutely beautiful. And the final touch will be a few eggs and then we'll be done. So now it's time for the final stage, the beautiful duck. Got some nice skin on here. We're gonna put the skin side down on the barbecue, get it crisped up and then we'll serve. of the heat wave standing over a griddle. I am hotter than hell, but goodness gracious, it is worth it. Look at this duck. It's a thing of beauty. There's a little bone pool here. Oh, oh. so good. Mm. Wow, the ginger really came through. So, that there, is the meal that we've got. All those veggies, veggies cooked down really, really well. Got a bit of egg in there. And we'll give it a go. Seasoning the rice before you, um, before you put it on the griddle is really important. Comes through. Oh, it's got that distinct sort of like sushi rice flavor to it. Whole lot of sweetness going on in there. The daikon sweetened up even more on top of the griddle, as did the carrot. It's all come through with these beautiful caramelized strands. Mm. And that, with a little bit of duck. Ha. Oh. That is sensational, sensational. You can do this with any meat, and I do recommend giving it a go. Do it with some pork belly, or with some beef rib, or just whatever you want. Just make sure you, get out of here. Just make sure you really spice it up. Mm. That is sensational. Oh man. I'm pretty happy with myself. I'm pretty happy with myself with this one. <laughs>